Hello guys, today we are on the beautiful map Duradan Forest in a 2v2 match in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22. Everybody is picking random and we get to play the Gondor faction. We are double Gondor actually. Uh, double Gondor is not the best combination in the game, but on the bright side we will have the chance to have two Gandalfs in the same team which can be quite busted. Okay, so I like the Gondor faction a lot. I like to play with Gondor Knights and also Heroes. And let's build up a blacksmith in a farm and recruit uh, full of a Tuk, Peregrine Tuk. We are against the evil faction on our side of the map. And evil factions actually on a map like Duradan Forest are pretty busted, as we have plenty of settlements, which helps the scaling of the evil faction quite a lot. But the reason why I cancelled the farm, by the way, is so we can grab those settlements a bit sooner, without having to wait a long time. Hobbit can now be used uh, to send to the right side. And we need to split. That's the weakness of Gondor in compared to all the other factions because you have only two starting units and you are not building up a barracks at the beginning of the game. Let's get this one, this one in the middle. And let's try to deal as much economical damage as we potentially can. Ah, I see orcs. I'm gonna pick up the heal. This way I can get to the power spike of Ganaf the White a bit sooner. And orcs, they have no chance against the soldiers of Gondor. I mean, Gollum can be quite annoying, though. Gollum can be quite annoying. Uh, you know, he's like, he costs 150 only, but he's so tanky for whatever reason. <laughs> I mean, but to be honest, Go you know, Mordor needs him early on. Mo Gollum is pretty underrated, by the way, guys. If you play Mordor every single time, recruit the Gollum, because Gollum can be used to sneak in, to, you know, scout, to kill enemy Lambermill workers, to fight a long time against soldiers and peasants. As he's faster, disengaging is not an option. He will be always able to catch you, so the best way you can deal with him is just standing still and fighting. So the soldiers, they are actually only buying time, which is good for us, because this way we can make sure that Mordor is not going to be able to creep. Let's get this one, and now we can creep the Goblin Nail right off the bat with the Peregrine Tuk. Uh, he's using Eye of Sauron, it's a 2v1 situation, we have heal on cooldown, there is no way we can win this one. Okay, we need to build one more farm inside the castle to get a bit more food bonus to make our Gondor Knights cost a little bit less. Okay, we will be able to take down this mill though, that's huge. And Mordor is playing too aggressively. That's a mistake from the Mordor faction player in my opinion, because normally against good factions like Gondor and Rohan as Mordor, you want to play a little bit more defensively, sending orcs forward is not the best goal. And for that reason, we might be even able to take down a second settlement, which would be actually a very good start into the game. And now, they are saving up for a stable for 800. Then we will need to recruit... Let's cancel the farm, because we cannot keep it anyway. Um, yeah, he's pressuring our farm. That's gonna take him some time, though. Against Mordor, you don't need to demolish your farms early on, because Mordor uh, will... Orcs, they don't deal too much damage, which kind of makes sense, because they are for free, after all. And for that reason, you can stall... And we can this way get a bit more food bonus to get a cheaper Gondor Knight upon the field. I mean, that was a mistake from him to, the, to actually capture this settlement, because he cannot keep it protected, and he will lose money off that. The farm is going down slowly but surely, but you can see, with the food bonus, I can recruit the Gondor Knights much, much cheaper. Oh, smart move from him to demolish the settlement, actually. Otherwise, our soldiers would almost get level 2. And level 2 units early on, holy guacamole, dude, they are almost unkillable for the opening, especially for orcs. So one level 2 soldier can easily deal with like 3 battalions of orcs by himself. The money has been secured, we have a great eco, man. We have really a great eco. We have an amazing map control. Now we can go for the second Gondor Knight. Let's use them to actually free our farm a little bit, and then we can go either for creeping, but instead of that, I would always prefer and also recommend you guys to take down the enemy settlements first. So Mordor's early game is not very strong and you need to punish him for that reason. You need to take down the settlements as long as you can. Because the second he has mountain throws recruited, which will happen sooner than you might expect on a map like this, then you have also much harder time to actually uh, take down the enemy settlements. So we go for the second and go for the third right after. On a map like this, which is a huge map, you need actually three battalions at bare minimum. Maybe even a number four Gondor Knight would be quite useful in this map. 
Okay, so let's clear every single area and get more and more money in the meantime. We can... We have a couple of options here. We can rush Gandalf. But what we can also do is go for the shields and um, forge blades. Because I believe we had a good start into this game. Let's actually go for the upgrades first. So we will go for the night shields and also forge blades. And then we might go for a, for a sneaky little base rush, you know? Okay. Everything is looking good. We have almost full base now. That's amazing. Our money is looking good. With three Gondonites, we should also be able to claim a lot of map control, defend our settlements, you know, pressure the enemy settlements, creep. We have many, many options. Macro is the key to victory, guys. So you gotta make stuff happen with your knights. You don't wanna sit in your base or think too much about what to do. When you think too much, you will lose momentum. And losing momentum is going to favor, once again, the mortal faction player. And we don't want this to happen. Keep pressuring all the time. Let's kill those settlements. And we will get very strong very soon, right? I mean, with shields and forge blades, we will hit like a truck. And also become almost immune to the tower damage. So let's go for the blades next. And then we can group them all together and go for the base rash. We are also getting a lot of additional resources from creeping those layers. We have also the heal from the spell book, which is amazing. We can now bring them all together and go for a rush. Hopefully he has no troll cage yet. If he has no troll cage yet, we can actually win the game right on the spot. Okay. Oh, he has a troll cage. Please. Can we take it down before the troll comes out? He has no trolls on the field yet. Can we please take it down? Can we please take it Oh, no, 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 no. Dude, the gate is open and close the gate. We can actually still take it down, though, but he will have... And also, he will have only one single troll. He's using Eye of Sauron, but troll needs a couple of uh, seconds animation time before he can take a fight. And we, that's huge. Oh, but move, please. Why are you afraid, dude? Why are you afraid? We lost a battalion, that's not worth it. It would be worth it if he wouldn't be able to get the troll on the field. But as he got the troll on the field, it is definitely not worth it, guys. Okay, so we have two power points in the bank. What we need to try to do at this point of the game is we need to try to get to the three power point power spike to summon the rangers and take down the one and only troll from the mortal faction player. And then, the second the troll is dead, we can do whatever we want. We need only one more power point for this massive power spike. We have still a great amount of map control. We will get more and more knights recruited. Let's use heal to heal them up to get them back to full HP. And the troll can't do anything. He needs to play defensively now because he has only one single troll. He has no troll cage. Keep that in mind. So keeping map control and defending at the same time is not going to be possible. And that's the punishment. You need to punish your opponent as you know his current stage. So heal up, please. I built the well actually quite late. And for that reason, I need to now sit in the base, which is not the best thing. But as you can see, right, we are splitting them. This way he doesn't know what he's supposed to do, right? He can be everywhere at the same time. And yeah. It looks pretty good for us. My ally in the meantime is actually fighting against the enemy Gondor. They are running around the farms trying to kill settlements. But we have much more fun. We are actually pressuring the evil. And that is much more fun to play against than against Gondor as Gondor or against Rohan as Gondor. Because when you play good against good matchup in BFME 1, it's actually mainly running around the map entirely and take down enemy settlements all the time. That's all you can really do. And, you know, I like to play when I play good factions against evil factions. When I play evil factions, I like to play against good factions. I mean, we are getting actually a lot of stuff done. And now, we have three power points in the bank, boys. Now we are talking. So now I will be summoning very soon the rangers. And then we will try our best to kill the one troll he has up on the field. That will give us so much pressure. And he cannot deal with that alone. He cannot deal with that alone. He was capturing the outpost, but there are no Haradrims inside the jeans. Now, we need to wait until until the troll comes, and then we're gonna just summon the rangers. That is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, he has apparently... Oh, that, how many trolls does he have? Only one? We can burst him down. We can burst him down. Kill him! He has even industry on his... Um, heal me, please. Heal me, please. Uh, my ally has no... Uh, he... Oh, the enemy... He, the enemy gunner actually healed the troll. But the troll can really help a lot. 
I mean, do a lot. As long as our Rangers are remaining on the field, and he now desperately needs the assistance of his ally. We rule this day. Hold them here. I mean, he's dancing at all, oh, but the enemy is sending now. Our opponent is sending some Gondor Knights, and he's gonna use the Eye of Sauron, but it's fine. Dude, we took, we took um, the one slaughterhouse with the industry buff on it, so we're not in a good spot. Now we gotta build, though. We gotta build, we gotta disengage. Don't lose any more Gondor Knights. We already lost one battalion, which is not the best thing in the world. And my ally is actually losing the map control fight from what I can see in the minimap, which is not a good sign because I cannot take off care of map control and also pressure the Mori at the same time. So the opening Gondor was even able to kill my own farms, which is <laughs> really annoying. Okay, but the good thing is, as we are fighting against Mordor, we are also getting a lot of power points collected every single time. And now we will need to wait for Gandalf. So Gandalf is going to be our game-changing point uh, for us. We have almost 4,000 in the bank. And we need to get, we need to make sure that we get the power points though. We need two power points to turn Gandalf the Grey into the Gandalf the White. Okay, let's capture this one and keep pressuring all the time, boys. Do something, you know, doing something, even if this, if the thing you do is not a, it's not a good thing. It's better than doing nothing, trust me. So we will not leave him alone, you know, we will not let him get any money as long as we can deny it. Kill this and then we gotta disengage. The problem is with the trolls, they are able to knock us down all the time. And for that, we, oh, we need to cancel this. You can see, right? <laughs> we need to jump from one location to another. Oh, please run! What are you doing, Gondor Knights? Are you, are you out of your mind? We can win this fight, though. We can win this fight. Let's use heal. And maybe he's not paying attention in the middle of the map. And, and, yes, sir. We killed a full battalion of Gondor Knights. That's awesome. That's really awesome. And for that reason, we also were able to get two power points collected. Now, it is time to turn Gandalf the Grey into the Gandalf the White. We need less than 1,000 to recruit the best hero in the entire game. I mean, those trolls are actually quite annoying to deal with, I'm not gonna lie. And also the fact that I need to take care of my own settlements because the Gondor player... I mean, he's doing a good job, I cannot blame him. The opening Gondor, even though he lost a full percent of Gondor Knights, maybe he's not paying attention, I've leveled... My level 6 Gondor Knight is gonna win against his level 3, trust me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to recruit the wizard. I will guide the strength of men. Two and a half power points collected, but two of them are going to be invested into the Gandalf the White. And the next power spike is going to be the Eagle Special Summon. I mean, we need Eagles to deal with the monsters of Mordor. So he will have plenty of trolls, eventually Nazgûl's Witch King later on. Because now he has double outputs, if I'm not mistaken, or it, he has at least one outpost. And he will get a lot of money. Let's go for the marketplace to get also a lot of money. I am a servant of the secret fire. That must be the enemy. Okay, now we are talking. Hey, hey, troll. <laughs> hey, troll. Are you trolling, troll? I will kill you, my friend. You have no chance. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Israelite. I mean, now at this point, the Mordor cannot really send out trolls without any protection forward because every time I will see them, I will be able to kill them with my Gandalf. Now we can go for a, for a base rush once again. Let's kill him first. Hey, troll, how are you? Nice, he's gone, One power point collected. We need five more. Five more, boys. Eagles are extremely important when you play Gondor against Mordor. They are the key to victory. So he's using industry once again. We can eventually lightning sword him. And let's kill. Let's kill everything. He has now multiple trolls upon the field. And even a drummer troll to make the trolls a bit tankier. So we gotta watch out. And the thing is... If our Easter Light is on cooldown, we have only the chance to kill them with the Lightning Sword. But Lightning Sword is, you cannot select the target. So you will hit automatically everything in the selected area. And if, even if there are Lambert workers, you will hit them. So I, I believe what we need to do now is we need to capture our outposts and start recruiting some archers and rangers. Because with Gondor Knights all alone, we won't be able to... Ho, 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 hey, hey, hey. He's not paying attention once again. Boom, son, on your face. Okay, we gotta kill this battalion. Hey, you are not escaping anywhere. Gandalf, go, 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 go. Please, please. Nice. Another battalion of Gondor. Don't touch my farms, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So we have now Faramir. We have also the Rangers. How I many we can go for one more attack? Let's capture this outpost. 
and we need four uh, four more power points yes four more power points to get to the point in which we can shine bright like a diamond okay so two power points collected we gotta also find a solution to this outpost though he's getting just too much value of that and i'm not sure how close he is for the darkness spell with darkness this monsters and also the Gondor Knights from the Allied Gondor player of Mordor are going to be extremely tanky and also hitting like a truck. So hopefully we won't lose this outpost, guys. I'm kind of too greedy with the outpost. Every time I'm building my archer range in the outpost, it's like a habit. I know it's not good. So we gotta... That's gonna be quite fast. But now, watch this. So he has to engage. If he doesn't engage, I will be able to deal so much damage to his economy. It will be hard for him to recover. So killing, keeping... Oh my god! Abort the mission, dude! There are too many trolls! Run! Oh, Rangers, rest in peace, my friends of Middle-earth. You have no chance! Oh, there is a Gandalf! What? No! Please kill him at least! Please kill him at least! Nice, we killed him, but that's bad, dude! We actually lost my rangers. The Faramir has been taken down. We lost Gandalf. How? I had heal. I didn't pay attention, dude. That's actually so unfortunate. We have no money. Now, losing Gandalf is always so painful, guys. We will lose so much momentum now. And Mordor can punish us for that, for that reason quite a lot. On the bright side, as we kill the enemy Gandalf, we get also a lot of power points. Now, we need only two more power points for the Eagle Special Summon. I mean, I could literally hit myself. That's very unfortunate. And that was a very, very, very bad play for me, uh, from me, guys. Sorry for that. Oh, the trolls are coming. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go to his base now. I believe he's moving on with all the trolls he has. So we can deal towers and then we can... He has no drummer trolls nearby. He has no witch king either. So those trolls, they need to be careful because my towers can kill them. Okay, they need to. You see what I'm doing? If I wouldn't do that, he would just be able to break through the wall and that would be a very bad situation for us in which Gondor could keep crushing our castle all the time with his Gondor Knights. But as we are pressuring him, he has to answer to this, you know? Now we can disengage and we are in a good spot. I just didn't want to lose my Citadel because that would delay our Gandalf even more. Gandalf has a really long revive time in Battle for Middle-earth 1 and we don't want him to take ages until he's back on the menu, boys. Gandalf is definitely extremely important against Mordor to kill the trolls, the Mumakirs, but also Nazgûs and especially the Witch King. Alright, so please, please, we need a little bit less than two power points and then this Mordor can do nothing anymore. He has no combos, they have no firepower. My Eagles can be used to gain a lot of additional power points and that's the good thing about the summons, right? You can summon them to get even more power points collected. Come on, Gandalf, I need you. We have a great amount of eco because of Marketplace, guys. We are actually growing rich. My ally is still running around for the map control all the time. <laughs> what is he actually doing? I don't know. He's never, he's, he's never been on the left side of the map. He's like fighting to the top side against Gondor. So the Gondors are fighting. Oh, he's going for the siege works. I mean, the problem is I can't really do much about the situation until my Gandalf is back on the menu. And oh, he has even a Nazgûl now. Trolls, what are you doing? Oh, big trolls are diving in. They are, they are out of their mind. <laughs> what are they doing? That's so. That's the Witch King is nearby. They, they have no drummer troll. What are they doing? They are feeding me now so many power points. Thank you very much. I needed that. I really genuinely needed that. All right. We have now ranges, fire or purchase. That's awesome. And I want to sell those Condor Arches though, because I want to actually fill my command points with rangers exclusively. They have a higher DPS. They are shooting way faster. And generally, they are much, much better against monsters like Trolls, Nazgûls, and Witch King. And our eco is looking good. Even though we have not a lot of map control, we have like three, four farms outside, which is enough for Gondor when you have Grand Harvest. Because then you get 40% additional money from your farms, which means every third farm is going to be like a farm number four, and even more than that. Okay, so I need to find a solution. Can I catch him? Oh, I will miss it, right? Or, yeah, I missed even the furnace. Are you kidding me? All right. So, boys, I believe uh, we need to get definitely some more arches. So we can use... Hold on a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna easter let you. Take this. Now, finish him off, Gandalf. Go. One out attack. One out attack. So he's gonna die. We need to 
Spam more and more ranges, boys. More and more and more and more. Oh, one more hit, Gandalf. Come on, please. Kick this troll. Tuck. Okay, half a power point away. Half a power point away. And then the mighty eagles, the, the strongest creatures. They are much stronger, by the way, than Nazgûs. Especially against heroes, they are so busted. Half a power point, boys. But our Gandalf is back, that means also the opening Gandalf is back. And we gotta watch out. We need to keep the heal for the opening Gandalf. Okay, there is a Witch King. We need to try to <laughs> get to this catapult. Dude, I need some sort of assistance here, I believe, right? I mean... The good, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but let's call the Rangers. Summon the Rangers. Oh, there is Gandalf coming from the opening too. To be one situation. Oh, he's gonna Easter light my Gandalf. It's fine. I can just go back to the well and heal up. That's no problemo. Hold on. We can actually kind of... Oh, oh. Is he gonna die? Please die. No. He has also heal. But now we know he has no more heal available. That's good. So we can now disengage with Gandalf and go back to the well. Fighting here on this spot is actually quite good for us because we have well really nearby and we can always disengage. And then we are in a good spot. Okay, my ally is sending some cavalry, but cavalry is not what I need. I need a Gandalf, you know? We need to have two Gandalfs and the enemy Gandalf can't do anything anymore. And even Witch King will get one shot from two Easter Elites. But I don't see my ally has Gandalf yet. What the heck? We have almost the Eagles, though. That's pretty good, guys. So the Eagles can do a lot of stuff here for us. We have Gandalf level 6. Even though uh, the water power against the enemy trolls is not going to be that good. But, yeah. Okay, please. Can I do stuff? Oh, yeah. I catch the Witch King. That's awesome. Can I finish him off now with the Easter Light, though? Can I... Can, please, please, please. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, we gotta disengage. My Gandalf, the shield bubble is saving the day. Gandalf, run, you fool. Fly, you fool. Okay. Dude, the shield bubble, as it was activated by the trolls, reduced the incoming damage from the Easter light of Gandalf. Now, we are talking. Now, you will be gone. Trust me on that one. You will be dead. You will be dead. Hello. Oh, he's actually dancing around the Rosie and I can't attack him. But the trolls are coming. Let's summon the eagles. Please, please, go, 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 go. Now we gotta use the Easter light. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, I need my Gandalf. My Gandalf is so low. My Gandalf is so low. Please, 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 please. Disengage, disengage, disengage. He's summoning even the rangers. My ally, I need help from you. Stop fighting for the map control. The Nazgûs are diving in the eagles. Oh, please, Gandalf. The second time we're losing him, boys. But in exchange, we will kill his Gandalf, too. It's good. Uh, let's summon... Uh, let's re revive the Gandalf right off the bat. These trolls are actually... They are geet rushing us, by the way, guys. What are you doing? I see even a bottom here from my... <laughs> All right. That's good. We killed the troll. If three power points collected, the army of the dead can be a green breaking point. We need to definitely spam more and more and more and more rangers. That's the only way we can handle the situation. Now let's try to kill a bit more trolls if we can with the eagles as long as they are remaining on the field. What a massacre. What a fiesta game, guys. I hope you enjoy this kind of games, guys. I really enjoy to play them for you. So if you enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe for more content like this in the future. Oh, please. Level 4 Gundam Knight is no more, boys. Oh, my ally has finally a Gandalf. <laughs> what unlucky timing from Gandalf the second he gets summoned. Uh, there comes the Eagle Special Summon. I don't even have heal. I can't help. I can't heal you, bro. I can't heal you. And Gandalf is no more. So both every Gandalf, there were three Gandalfs like 20 seconds ago, and every single one of them got killed. But the Eagles are feeding us a lot of power points. That's a good thing. We actually need only four and a half power points for Army of the Dead. Are you kidding me? And we have not a lot of map control. I believe we should have more. I guess now the Mordor is just too much money. Like he has in total like four or five mils outside. He can do whatever he wants. He can get multiple Nazgûls. Maybe even go for the Muma kills. And for that reason, we need to be prepared. Our Eagle Summon has a long cooldown. And we cannot hope that we can wait for it, you know? Disengage. Oh, the Screech is coming in handy. Let's kill those trolls as they are coming close. Oh, I got one-shotted, by the way. My range of Italian has been one-shotted. Keep shooting them, Faramir. The thing is, Faramir doesn't even hurt them. And they have this much leadership. With Witch King and Drummer Troll, they have 100% more armor, which makes them 
to a tank. So they are almost as tanky as Balrog is. No cap. Okay. So we gotta fight for this outpost. As long as this outpost is remaining under control from Mordor, I cannot really do a lot. I have like constant pressure on me. And for that reason, that's our priority number one. To destroy this outpost as soon as we can. And for that reason, we need Gandalf. Gandalf has to return. He has to come back to the, on the menu. So let's put also some archers on top of the world just for the for the plan B. You know, prepare for the best. Uh, hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. That should be our behavior in this game. And look at this man. He has, he has freaking three Nazgûls. What can I? What can man do against such a reckless seat? What can man do against such a reckless seat? I have the ranger special, special summon available very soon. Now it's available. Um, I mean, Parami is not level 5 yet, Boromi is not level 4 yet, we have not enough leadership. Actually, we have no leadership at all to burst down those trolls fast enough. Oh, warning at all, can we chunk him a little bit? Yes, sir, we chunked him. I mean, oh, what are my Gondorites doing? Disengage, disengage, disengage. We gotta beat them. Gandalf is now finally back on the menu, boys. It's amazing. Now bring in more and more rangers up on the field. The Nazgûls are getting bullets away. And the second we get Boromir level 4, it's gonna unlock the 60% additional damage leadership, which will make those rangers deal way more damage. Okay, looks like we'll be able to get this outpost. I don't think. Let's use Easter lights here. Oh! Take this. Oh, they were clowned and I was able to hit both of them. That's so satisfying, dude. Nice. Let's destroy the outpost. Now we can take care of the trebuchet. And also, if you kill siege weapon trolls, we will get a lot of additional power points. We are only three power points away from the army of the dead special summon boys. Unfortunately, though, we lost the gun of twice. Hopefully, uh, we won't lose them a third time. More rangers. We can take the outpost now and put the statue a well, you know, and then try or, you know, start pressuring the Mordor castle, the Mordor main base, from this location. We are losing the middle area though, unfortunately, but it's fine. I will not focus on the map control at this point, I want to just... Oh, Gandalf! Don't move, Gand... Oh, he's moving! Uh, dude, I messed up so much. He didn't even pay attention for us. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, he's paying attention now. My Easter egg is on cooldown. Even use heal? Okay, maybe he was expecting my Easter light, but it was not even available. I take it. So we know now the heal is on cooldown. We have Eagle Summon almost back up in about like a minute. We can summon them for the second time in this game. And then we need to make sure that the next Eagle Summon is going to get us the necessary power points we need to unlock the Offbreaker Special Summon from the Spellbook of Gondor. That is the plan. So we need to build a statue, a well for the recovery. And then we need to make sure to protect the outpost. We should be able to. We have plenty of ranges around this side. Boromir and Faramir. Even though they have no leadership unlocked yet. But it's going to be hopefully done. We have also, just in the in case, uh, the additional reinforcement summoned from the dark... From the ranger, sorry. Oh, I see also army from Mordor at the side from my ally. Okay, I don't know how close my ally is for the eagle special summon, but... We know that we are close for the... Oh my goodness, this guy has combos too. Hey, hey, Gandalf. Gandalf, watch, 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 watch. Take this, take this. Warning arrow him, warning arrow him. Chuk chak. Boom, Faramir has shown his quality. Let's go, Faramir, my boy. My man. That's so huge. Taking down the Gandalf there, actually. Now the trolls are committing. The Nazgûls are coming. What is happening? Fiesta, 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 fiesta. Oh my goodness, man, the Nazgûls. We have the Eagle Special Summon available. We have almost the Army of the Dead, but I want to go for a boom! It's a plus on your face, son. All right, the land came out a little bit too late. We need to make sure to kill the Witch King as soon as possible. Drummer Troll Witch King, that should be our primary target to deny the opening the leadership he's looking for. Because with leadership, those combos, they will be impossible to kill. And our, our farm is level 7, but Boromi is only level 3. I cannot believe it, Denator. Can you believe it? Your second son, your young son has shown the quality more than your oldest son. Than your elder son. Alright, so boom, boom, trample. The land is coming in clutch. I don't mind. My Gandalf is in a safe spot. We can also we have also heal for the worst case scenario. We have 9 power points collected, ladies and gentlemen. We have 6,000 resources. The Nazgûls are committing once again. I see the rangers. They are shooting. We need to heal him now. You don't... Oh my, the trolls are marching now. The last march of the trolls, not of the ends. My eagles are gonna come now, though. Eagles, it's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. Get me the army of the dead. My level 10 Gondonite, please don't die. Dude, I lost so many Gondonites in this game, it's unbelievable. To be to my for my defense, 
what can Gondonites do against mountain trolls? You know, they have no... Oh, there is another eagle. Please, Gandalf, run for your life. Run for your life. Run for your life. The eagles, look how many eagles are fighting. We got a one-shot one of them, and the other one hopefully dies to the rangers. And hopefully that's going to be enough to save Gandalf. Yes, not even close, baby. My Gandalf, you might kill him once. You might kill him twice, but you ain't killing him three times trust me that one all right we gotta take care of the trolls we have also the eod special summon now we have to go for the victory we need to do that before the mordor or the other gondor from the opening team unlocks their army after that i have not seen i have not seen the eagles from my ally yet um i think he's actually <laughs> i think he has not many power points collected but he has now combos combos is not a good thing against mordor why because combos are too slow to disengage from the trolls if they want to hold on a second I'm summoning the lightning sword on the captains of Gondor, both of them. Pew, pew, pew. Kill them, kill them. Okay, we killed Faramir. Boromir was able to get away. That's good, unlike in the films. <laughs> unlike in the film. Oh, my ally is also Gandalf. That's good. But my level 10 Gondonite. Yeah, we should be able to save him. I think they will be scared from the Gandalf, right? Yes, sir. The trolls are coming. But I have a surprise for them, boys. I have a surprise for them and... The surprise starts with O and ends with S of Breakers, okay? Okay, so we need a little bit more Gondonites. And more Rangers. Okay, we have now three battalions of Gondonites. We can also get more Rangers recruited in the meantime. Money is looking still not too bad, even though we are recruiting all the time units. That's why Marketplace is so essential for the, Mordor, uh, for the Gondor faction if you get into the mid to lead game. You know, the longer the game goes on, the more beneficial the marketplace is. It might be a little bit too much of an investment early game, but trust me, it is paying off. So if you play multiplayer games or, or against skirmishes against AI, make sure when you play Gondor to build the marketplace, guys. Trust me, it's worth it. Okay, so I think that's going to be the game winning point. I don't, I don't think oh, that's our ally from our ally. <laughs> I was like, what is Ganav doing there? Okay. I don't think that the enemy team has, you know, the say it. And the Balrog summon. So we let's we, let's summon the Rohirrim first. Let's go inside the jeans and try to beat them into fighting. In the second, we see the full army. And we can actually summon the EOD. Faramir, you come also. Please join the party. Oh, okay, we gotta summon the EOD now. Please disengage. Let's unlock the EOD now. And say hello to my little friends. There we go. The EOD doesn't care, doesn't care. You know, they don't care about towers, Nazgul, Switch, King Trolls. They have no chance. These is no rubble of mindless trolls. These are off-breakers. Their armor is not existing and they don't need shields. Okay, four power points collected on top of that. We are actually only two power, three power points away from the uh, seat. From the cloud break. Parami is also here to support with additional armor leadership to make those ranges a bit tankier. Let's use the lightning sword on the Mount Doom, or Arab on the Baradur in this case. The Eye of Sauron is no more. For Frodo, five power points collected. The forces of evil are gonna be destroyed, boys. Destroyed. The Nazgûls are committing. That's the last desperate commitment from the Mordor player. I mean, riding or in this case flying into an army of rangers. That's not very smart, my friend. Trust me on that one. Okay. All right, the castle. We will have even money, guys, to buy this castle if we want to. Dude, that's how rich we are. And at the end of the game, you will also see the money differential. That's if you... We were actually building the marketplace quite early, right after the Gandalf came out. And this is actually a pretty solid long game. It was also pretty fun to play. I don't think the game can be turned around at this point anymore, unless the uh, enemy mortar is Balrog summon and they can try to take down one of the castles. That shouldn't be a game for our team. Destroy the tower. Okay, now we can just buy the castle. Buy the castle at this point. Yeah, just buy it. Just buy it. Do it. Money. It's not a problem. The White City. Boromir, my friend, you will see the glory days of Gondor once again. By the way, Boromir is also level 4. We have now the maximum leadership with the Gondor faction. Boromir, Faramir. This was actually quite a fun interaction. Did you see what happened? As we bought the castle, they jumped back in. <laughs> oh, he has actually combos or arches here. Faramir, go back. Faramir, go back. What is Faramir doing on top of the... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's use Cloud Break here. I want to actually go for a Juicy. Oh, what is this Gandalf doing? Is he out of his mind? Does he not know we have double Gandalf here? Cloud Break time. Let the sun is rising. Boom! Oh, he's almost dead, but he was able to survive barely. 
My ally is kind of was too far away. Let's go for a juicy visa plastic. This is level five Boromir now. The fear effects can't work. Um, we can even build some wild statues here if you want to. Even more farms, blacksmiths. I mean, money is no problem. We don't need to. I mean, I was just buying the castle just to send a message. You know what I'm saying? And also, for the worst case scenario, if the Mordor is like a Balrog special summon, and then he will be able to destroy one of the one of the castles. The Gandalf is no more. I think that's the last remaining outpost from the Mordor faction. And what a great game it was, guys. For me, it was a fantastic game. We actually had, I had a lot of fun. Lots of pressuring with the, you know, Gondonites. Uh, even though, like, it could be a little bit better, the performing wise with the Gondor, with the Gandalf. But for my defense, in those situations, every time I lost my Gandalf, it was like a 2v1 situation, you know what I'm saying? So basically, the opening Gandalf, Gondor came all the way down to support his ally, either for defense or attack. But that's a good thing my ally in the meantime was securing himself map control. He's spamming tower guards. <laughs> Imagine recruiting tower guards against fell beasts. This guy is in love with those tower guards, I guess. Eagle special summon is available for the world's case, but Mordor, ladies and gentlemen, I believe, has been defeated. Yes, sir. Mordor is no more. Now it's Gondor all alone. I don't think Gondor has the chance to do anything. We can just build siege weapons at the outpost here and start sieging him already. But maybe that won't be even needed if he... I don't know. Maybe he's gonna wait. Oh, never mind. GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more content like this in the future. Tomorrow we will have more games, obviously. And if you don't want to miss that, be sure to subscribe. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.